All right, uh, this is Mr. Thompson again. Uh, this is my third video on Equation Editor. Uh, in the first video, I showed you how to use the menu system to, to start using Equation Editor. And in the last video, I introduced you to keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to continue with some keyboard shortcuts. Um, so last time I showed you how to write uh, like a superscripts and subscripts and fractions. Uh, so you might be able to do something like, uh, for an example, let's say we're doing projectile motion x sub y equals u sub y space bar uh, times t plus half space bar to convert that into half uh, a sub y space bar t squared. How easy was that? All right, so that was last lesson. Let's move on to this lesson. So let's uh, let's continue with our projectile motion theme. Uh, let's say we wanted to calculate u sub y, and we wanted to say that u sub y equals u sine theta. Okay, let's try that. Uh, Alt Enter to get into Equation Editor. U underscore y. That's our u sub y equals. I could have used spacebar, but equals will do the job in this case. U sub y equals u space, now I want sine, space, um, and theta. Now what I could do is I could go up here and I could look for theta. Uh, I could click down this little button here and I could hunt theta. There's theta, I could do that. But that's painful. Uh, much better, I know it's theta. So all I'm going to do is uh, do backslash and then type the word theta. Theta, like that, backslash theta. Now when I click spacebar, or hit spacebar, it converts theta into theta. So that was pretty easy. Uh, in fact, we can do just about any Greek letter we want uh, if we know the name of the Greek letter. So let's have a look at a few more. Alt equals to get into equation editor again. Um, let's do alpha, backslash alpha. Oh, it helps if I spell it correctly. Alpha, as soon as I press spacebar, it converts into alpha. Uh, backslash beta, backslash gamma. Again, easy. Okay, what about uh, oh, what about omega? Omega, like that. Okay, now, maybe that's not the omega I wanted. You'll notice that gave me the lower case omega. And the reason it gave me the lower case omega was because I typed omega starting with a lower case letter. Let's do that again. Omega gave me the lower, lower case omega. If I wanted the capital omega, then all I have to do is backslash and type omega Omega, like that, with it starting with a capital O. O. And let's see what happens when I press spacebar. The capital letter Omega. So there's all number of Greek letters we can do. We can do Rho. We could do, uh, what's another useful one? Mu for micro. Um, we could do Sigma. Sigma. Okay. Uh, what about capital Sigma? Capital Sigma. Anyway, I'll leave it for you to play with the other Greek letters, but that's how easy it is to do Greek letters in, um, uh, in Equation Editor.